So I'm Diane McPhelan, I'm the Culture and Tourism Officer here in the Ulster Canal Stores. Uh, my name's Hugh Tunney, I'm the manager of the Ulster Canal Stores here. We have a, a full-time restaurant, we offer Meals on Wheels to the local community and we offer guided tours and events and we welcome groups and bus tours. So there was great excitement this week with the uh, uh, further announcement for phase two of the canal reopening project. The uh, Ulster Canal opened in uh, 1841, uh, was initially uh, commissioned to, to bring freight from Limerick to up to Loch Ney and on to Belfast. The canal had difficulties in operation. Uh, initially there were stretches that were too narrow, uh, there were prob problems with uh, uh, shortage of water supply. So the last lighter boat uh, went up the canal in 1929 and then it became overgrown and impassable and was officially abandoned by 1931. It'll be very much targeted at local families and tourists. Um, there'll be a beautiful walk uh, which goes up here in a loop and comes back down around at the new marina. The marina is going to be uh, directly adjacent to the children's playground. Um, John McDonough talked in terms of uh, a football pitch and a half in, in size. Um, so there'll be swimming there on a daily basis, there'll be canoeing, um, uh, all sorts of low-level uh, water-based activities. There'll be beautiful looped walks and cycle paths around the marina. We're talking about a big attraction for uh, uh, people in this whole region of Cav and Monaghan, South Fermanagh. We already have an existing restaurant in the uh, Ulster Canal stores. We have an ambitious uh, development project of our own in the Canal Workers Cottage in our courtyard. We'll also be moving our restaurant uh, to the new building and uh, it will have uh, glass front views oh, uh, towards the children's playground and over the uh, new water park community. Yeah, so this uh, project uh, at the Ulster Canal stores is, is going to reach the border, the aqueduct on the, on the Cavan Road, and then it'll just be a matter of opening up the other uh, pieces in between and we'll have a canal that stretches right to uh, Loch Erne and connects to the Shannon. It'll be a huge boost for Clonus and for the surrounding villages. It'll be a facility for families to come and visit and spend time in at all times of the year, not just in the good weather. And it'll be a great boost for the local businesses in that there'll be more tourists coming to the area. We would hope to see this project in construction or well on the way to construction in 2023-24. Water brings with it, you know, a sort of a serenity and, and a well-being. We hope that the facilities at the Ulster Canal stores here can add to that uh, and that everybody gets that sense of, you know, enjoyment in the water-based project.